Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on Coda Equina Syndrome. It is a group of symptoms that occur when the nerves in the Coda Equina become compressed or damaged. And this Coda Equina is a collection of nerve roots that spread out from the bottom of the spinal cord. You can see in this picture over here. Below the cornus medullaris, there is the Coda Equina. And this Coda Equina Syndrome is a surgical emergency. There are some causes which include central prolapse intervertebral disc, which is a more common cause, infection like abscess, neoplasm like tumor or lymphoma, vascular cause such as spinal epidural hematoma, spinal anesthesia, or IVC thrombosis. And there are also other causes like ankylosing spondylitis, spondylosis, and also spondylolisthesis. For clinical presentation, the, pre the patient may have saddle anesthesia. So we can ask if the toilet paper feels different when they are wiping. And also bowel and bladder dysfunction. So the initial presentation may be difficulty starting or stopping the urine stream. And then may be followed by frank overflow incontinence. First of urine and then incontinence of stool. Some of the early signs include increase in frequency in urination, waking up at night to pass urine, poor stream and also hesitancy during urination. Lower limb weakness that affect both of the legs. There might be some muscle wasting if chronic cause of illness. Radiating pain affecting both legs, lower back pain and also lower extremity or perineal area sensory loss. So the investigations include plain x-ray. This is unlikely to be helpful in Coda Equina Syndrome, but it can be done in cases of traumatic injury or to look for any disruptive changes, this face narrowing or spondylolysis, which are the possible causes. CT with or without contrast with lumbar myelogram followed by CT. Consult senior for use of MRI or CT, and ultrasound can also be used to estimate or measure post-void residual volume. So for management, for pre-hospital care, stabilize acute life-threatening conditions and also immobilize spine in traumatic cases. In emergency department, there is no proven medical treatment and the therapy is generally directed at the underlying cause of the Coda Equina Syndrome. For example, for mechanical compression of the Coda Equina due to this herniation, surgical intervention may be indicated. So admit the patient to appropriate service, usually involving the neurology department, neurosurgery or orthopedic surgeon. Surgical decompression should be done within 48 hours because if the treatment is delayed, there are some potential complications such as residual weakness, the urinary or bowel incontinence may become permanent, importance and also sensory abnormalities may occur. So that's all for this video, thank you.